Yo guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how I managed to get number one in the world and if you didn't already just make sure dropping a like and also subscribing to the channel. Alright guys, and we are starting the game against one of the best, in my opinion, the best player in the game right now and we are playing against Mohamed Light, he's playing a lock bait deck, in my opinion the matchup is not good, but to be fair also I don't think that Mohamed Light is as good as Riley is for example with this lock bait deck, but I'm always losing against Riley in case I'm playing against Riley, so now I just went in with my Maggie Minion against Scoblin Bell, he's getting down with a high mighty minor and here we are coming to such a smart tomb, so my opinion, and if you are struggling, don't worry guys, I'm just telling you how to play and the best way to play, yeah, yeah, the best way to win is actually try to get a tower trade. Tower trade is so important, so you guys probably expecting what I'm just going to do. I'm getting down instantly with the balloon after that. So I also thought about, okay, am I getting down with the zap? I should have zapped that after, after seeing the game right now. But I didn't expect it. such a good prince, such a good uh, fire spirit. So here you guys can see how good Mohamed Light is against everyone else. I think maybe also against Wiley, but against everyone, everyone else, I would have lost my tower. But because of his insane, and we have to say this was an insane fire spirit combo in combination with the princess. I went down with the Mega Minion against again against the Scoblin Bell. I knew okay. Double time is actually coming in the, in the time when I want to get up with my Lava Hound, so it's all good. We don't have to worry about But my goal was still getting a 1-1 one, one situation because a 1-1 one, one situation is winnable. Most of the times when staying in a 0-0 zero, zero situation, it's not winnable to be fair. Okay, I had to get in with the Drakes, kind of clear why I had to do that. So I thought, okay, am I getting down with the Lava Hound? So now <clears throat> it's now it's time for my Lava Hound. He's getting down with the Goblin Bell, but I still had to play my Tombstone High. Otherwise, the Mighty Miner would have gotten onto my left tower. Then he could use the ability for this for the right tower. So kind of clear why I used it. I also went in with the Mighty, so he can't king, uh, so he can't pull the his Mighty Miner onto my tower. So, so it's just time for a Lava Hound. It's just time for a Balloon to kill the Rocket and. It was kind of clear, okay, he's just getting down with the rocket. I didn't expect it to be fair that he's failing his rocket. So this is so, so important for us. Next Lava Hound is coming down. And I was okay. Now we are in the situation we want to get. It's time for the tombstone. It's time for the mega minion. Also, it's just time for the next um, yeah, to actually defend him, so he didn't use the ability. Now we are just seeing the mighty miner I always want to get, and that's also the reason why I just love zero zero. Uh, I mean one one situations like them. So I went down with the mighty miner Mighty miner is taking the cannon down, and here we are continuing our pressure. Tombstone is coming down, or I mean, yeah, coming down onto the field. Next Mega Million is also just ready to rumble. So Mega Million went in. We went in with the Zap as well against the Mighty Miner, but it's still so much damage. I didn't expect it. 1,700 damage by his Mighty Miner push. Maybe I should have fireballed it, but now it's just time for the fireball against the Mighty. My Mighty, uh, I mean against his Princess, my Mighty just made sure to connect even because of the fire spirit. And that's how we won against not a good matchup against the best player in the world. By the way, guys, I'm getting the feedback card. Why not doing live gameplays? It's just because I'm playing these kind of games most of the times and also this time on my Twitch channel. So just make sure to check out my Twitch channel. And for sure, when I'm recording this on Twitch in German, I can't also upload it on YouTube. So yeah, I still hope you're enjoying this kind of replays. But I understand the point that yeah, live gameplay is just cooler but in case you want to see that just make sure yeah tuning into my twitch stream and now i was okay my opponent is playing e giant he's a german player he's he's actually a lava clone player so most of the times when i'm getting sniped it's by uh by e giant so i was okay then i got sniped but for sure this was no this was no snipe i mean no one is sniping actually a tombstone player with lightning everyone would just play with the earthquake so i went with such a value tombstone now i'm just getting down with the lava in the back i didn't even have to get in with with, with, with something else because fire uh, flying machine 
for sure did run about 700 damage but i think it's worth it taking this kind of damage so just getting down with the drakes he made sure to drop the lightning and i just made sure to pressure him instantly so he had no opportunity he didn't manage to get his e giant just in time so he didn't even play it and just getting the tower down by a lava mega minion push is such an incredible good feeling and i knew okay e giant is coming down we need to keep the pressure real so mighty is coming onto the right balloon is coming onto the left the good thing is i'm able uh, sending the mighty minor opposite lane in case he's getting down with skeletons for example with dark prince with everything else so just getting the t second tower down as well and to be fair i didn't even understood why mauser didn't gave up in a situation like that to be fair and at least in my book maybe we are reading some different books but at least in my book this is just over already but Mauzer didn't want to give up. I am not sure what he's what he, uh, what what kind of matchup he tried to snipe. Was it lock bait because of the flying machine? I just don't know. Anyways, we had the luck. We had the luck that he's just playing with the flying machine. So I think no question that we have a good matchup. So now we went in with our lava hound mega minion. For sure, it's not smart supporting the push with a mega minion. So I had to defend the mega minion like that. And I just seen two. E giants onto my field. So in case you are seeing two E giants onto the field, you're just having one tombstone. Your goal is to keep one tower alive. The second tower is uh, just can't die. So I accepted that my right tower is probably just getting down. I also just defended the left tower by my E giant. So I just seen the king tower. I got the king tower or king tower down, and that's how we won against Malze. Coming to a next game against Fair Legend. So it's Legend versus Legend, and he's playing a Minor Mortar deck. Luckily, he's not playing with bats. Luckily, he's playing with the, with the with the skeletons. So it's much easier for us. I think it's no question why getting down with a deep deep tombstone. This is such a good tombstone in my opinion, especially when your opponent doesn't have the lock in the hand. So he's not able getting down in the right and also onto the left with the mortar. He's just able getting down onto the right with the rail here. So in case and also even if when your opponent has the lock, just get down with deep tombstones like that. This is just so much value. So Mega Minion went down, getting opposite lane is pretty pretty smart he has no skeletons in the hand i used my ability so my mighty miner got sanded off opposite lane used the ability made sure to kill his queen i just zapped that and he also just used his elixir i mean his, his fire spirit so i didn't manage to take more damage but here you guys can see we are nearly even elixir we are in a damage lead so the situation is good but for sure it's not decided the game is not over yet for sure because he's playing a minor control deck and fair legend is a good minor control player i think no question when playing against him for number one so went down with the drakes i don't want to get a whole minor onto your tower so i also just made sure to to get down with a deep tombstone again as i just said tombstone is good against Fire Spirit onto the bridge, Tombstone is good against Valky onto the bridge, is good against Mortar onto the bridge. So I think this is probably the game changer in case you're understanding the Tombstone interactions in the matchup like that. This is just a game changer for all of you guys in the near future. So we are able getting down with the Mighty Miner onto him. Fireballing the queen into us. Now we use the ability. We made sure to kill the queen. So in case the queen is played pretty high, it's pretty pretty good for us. So he used his poison. So we are just keeping to pressure his tower. We also just made sure that the uh, that the balloon got pushed a little bit on the left, so he wasn't able playing a mortar completely into the po or into the middle now getting down with a tombstone like that is just so so insane he made he played a lock onto us so it's just the one elixir tombstone but the tombstone is still taking care for over 10 or 15 or 20 seconds onto the right so now it's just time for using the ability killing the skeletons my mighty is onto the queen as soon as the rag here is dropping off now i'm just pressing onto the right he went down with his mortar but the pressure is still alive onto the right also we are in such an insane elixir lead 
getting down with the deep tomb soon again to just control the game. Now it's time for a mega million and we are still into the uh, elixir lead, I mean. So it's time for building up a huge push. He also just has the queen against us. So yeah, I have matchup against him. I have matchup against him. I want to pressure the right, so I went down onto the, with the balloon onto the right, getting down with the drakes and the mighty miner onto the left again, killing the queen hopefully. I knew, okay, his poison's out onto the right, so he has no opportunity actually defending our drakes early. For sure, now he had the opportunity defending drakes, but it's a important a different is he able defending the drakes or is he able actually defending the drakes early now he tried to predict my balloon behind the lava hound he wasn't able to do that so it was kind of clear that it, that it was on the game also i made sure to drop the drakes before my fireball now i went down with the balloon he just gave up and that's how we made sure to win against fair legend and i think after this game we were number three in the world okay now coming to the last game which gave me the final trophies and we are playing against cody go with the nate deck so right now just a big shout out to nate against nate and it's just a horn um, it's just my, my my own opinion against nate it's much harder than for example playing against cody go with the same deck so just a small shout out goes out to nate but for sure also shout out goes out to cody go he's just streaming nearly every day on twitch he's just grinding in my opinion he's one of the top three grinder in the game right now so lava hound went down i, I made sure to to drop the tombstone at least onto the right and I just knew, okay, he has no skeletons in the hand. So I thought about, in case I'm getting down with my zap, I'm probably defending him pretty, pretty well. But I don't think the zap was worth it. He went down with the miner. And I'm such a big fan of getting down just with the naked balloon onto the bridge. The worst thing which could happen is a negative one elixir trade in case he's getting down with the rocket but in situations like them especially in single time and double time it doesn't happen that often but especially in single time sometimes you're just able getting down with the death bomb and death bomb is in my book some damage which you want to get so mighty is coming down into the back um, i'm not afraid of getting some rocket or giving him some rocket value i just knew okay he has no rocket in the hand now i went down with deep to with a deep tombstone and i tried to predict some skeletons i wasn't able to do that uh, that's unfortunate for my side but i'm still using the ability killing the 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 the, the delivery boy or the recruit and it's just time for my balloon again onto the bridge. You guys can see how good the play actually is. He j wasn't able getting down with a rocket. He had to get down with an inferno tower. And you might agree that this is nearly over because he has no option defending the lava hound. He has no um he has no inferno tower in the hand so i made sure to drop the lava hound i made sure to drop my mega mini behind that because i also just knew okay he has no option defending that his inferno tower unfortunately locked onto my lava hound so i had to get down with the zap and my lava hound is just chipping more and more he also was pressure to play a recruit or the delivery which he didn't want to get in because of my Mega Minion, which just survived, getting down with Drakes like them, getting down with a high Mega Minion against his Inferno Tower again. Now his Inferno Tower locked again onto our lava and unfortunate, so it had to get down with my La Zap and my Fireball. This is just the way to go. This is just a plan. Always shipping or killing the tower. Or ki not killing the tower, actually. Killing, killing, killing the Inferno Tower by the Fireball Zap combination. And... The game is not over yet, to be fair. For sure it isn't. But we are just pressuring even more. Now he went down with the with the with the Dark Prince. But to be fair, we are yeah keeping the pressure real. So so he has no other option than than just getting down with a Mega Minion. In my opinion, this 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 this, um, this Mighty Miner was just a game changer. I made sure to kill down the inferno tower and by finishing the inferno tower by my mighty miner it's kind of clear 
that my lava hound is taking or is shipping the, the damage which I just needed. Now I had to get down with a fireball against his two elixir tower and that's how I just made sure to get number one in the world with over 7,800 trophies. By the way, I just pushed on this day 500 trophies around and here you guys can see, can see the proof I am number one in the world. Thanks for as thanks as always for watching this video. Write me down in the comments which kind of content you want to see in the future. Otherwise, thanks for watching as always. See you next video. Bye guys.